G'day everyone, it's a beautiful day to start hanging out with fellow nerds and streamers. I'm heading to Twitch HQ, which would be great, so I'll get a, a bit of a hangout and chat and chill, and then later today I'm gonna to be streaming from Twitch at Twitch, which is gonna be awesome. Alright, I've been taking I've been taken into a dark and quiet room to experience scratch and sniff wallpaper, apparently. Do you have to <laughs> she's closing the blinds just so we don't reveal how stupid we look as we scratch and sniff walls. But I can see the nail marks of former prisoners. <laughs> You just, just anywhere yeah, or just I've, I've, specifically yeah. the cherries? You should probably scratch the cherries. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's good. <laughs> hmm. There's another wall. This is the banana wall. Maybe I didn't scratch hard enough. Is it? Are These you are, pranking these are well me? Used. These are, well used. are they? All right, I'm gonna go a more obscure banana. This is totally a no, prank. This isn't a prank. This, this is, is a prank. <laughs> You're like, real. we have this scratch and sniff wall, and then all of the walls are scratch and sniff walls. Just so you have people walking around your offices doing this. Next this is gonna... a prank. No, next there is no smell. No, no, we're gonna take you to the poop emoji wallpaper next. Are you being serious? No. <laughs> This is not real. There oh, is no it is. smell. It is. This no. Is you can totally I'm smell sorry. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am going to sue you for false advertising. <laughs> this is a prank. Is you are forcing me to scratch it. You are not forcing me, but I'm, pretty, I'm stupidly I'm sure. opting in to scratching and sniffing your banana wall. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There is. There is. Wait. The other one's. Wait. Good. Smells like scratched wallpaper. <laughs> This this wallpaper is disappointing. I think this one's expired. You need new scratch and sniff we wallpaper. Do. Can somebody please send new scratch and sniff <laughs> wallpaper because we could really use it. have their own vending machine because IT doesn't like to be bugged for things. <laughs> they sell like, what's, it, what's in here? Keyboards and peripherals. Oh, oh, and of course, Twitch energy drink. Because you know, hashtag swag. So I'm streaming in here. Look at that thing. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's a big camera. All right, I am gonna decimate this. That'll be fun. Yay! <laughs> awesome. All right, how many markers do I get to work with? Are you with? streaming now too, but I'll grab you. No, I'm just, this is for my vlog. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> All right, so I could um, plug in there and webcam it and I'll need to connect to Wi-Fi or have a LAN cable. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll get you home. So, you took my arm spot. <laughs> no, that's right, come back, we can share. <laughs> so I'm here with Moss from Twitch. Uh, you go way back with Twitch, right? But I actually thought while I'm here, we could, we could go way back together. Uh, into a trip the, through time. Exactly, a trip through time into Twitch Creative. <laughs> because a lot of people in my community know about Twitch because I stream on Twitch every week where I can and I'm not traveling internationally. Um, and I think it's like a cool story as to how it all came about and where it's at and maybe a little bit about where you're going, where the future is, what the vision the future is. Future of Twitch. Exactly. Let's let's talk. Hit so me. traveling back in time, I started creating content on Twitch Creative uh, in twenty fifteen. And this was back when Creative had this giant question mark as the game box art. Mm -hmm. Where people didn't even know, like, is this an official game? Did someone make it? Mm -hmm. And it turns out Bill, who's my boss now, created it back in I think twenty fourteen just this giant question mark to give a place for people who were doing art 
on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, later in 2015, TwitchCon rolled around, and I, I, was, a, I was just a, a, a broadcaster, actually, a partner at the time. Hmm. And I was just bugging people at Twitch. I'm like, what, what are we going to do about Twitch Creative? Is there going to be a presence? Let's make a gallery. Yeah. And everybody at Twitch is like, who's this guy? So they pass my email around. My email <laughs> finally lands into Bill's hands. And Bill says, oh, that's a cool idea. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. So w I ended up putting together this gallery. Uh, I think it was 36 artists at the time. That's so cool. We printed out the works. We, we built up this, this structure at the uh, first TwitchCon. And we had a gallery there, and it was like the gathering spot for all of the artists. Yeah. And the feeling of like just like energy and everything was just amazing yeah. there. Everyone was just gathering. It's like, oh, this is the future. We're going to change this question mark into a game. And That's so cool. We're going to change Twitch. And now it's sort of become its own thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm jumping the gun a bit. So you keep, yeah, I'm, it's I'll, an interesting I'll evolution. I'll take you on the story. Mm -hmm. So I didn't realize this was like a job interview for me mm -hmm. because I was... I was basically taking the gallery and showing like, oh, hey, you know, I can support the community. I can do all of this stuff that connects people with partners and broadcasters. And after that, after the gallery, Bill's like, hey, you want to go talk to the interviewer? He's downstairs. The recruiter's going to talk to you for a second. That's so cool. So I got hired, became a community <laughs> manager. <laughs> Whoops, I have a job here. <laughs> That sounds good. Just like a banana peel on the floor, <laughs> and you slid into the interview yeah, like room, like, oh, okay. and you'd already been working for them for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And okay, I have a job. Here's a jumper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I get this cool, cool swag. Uh, yeah. So at the time, I was working with the community, building up projects around like uh, monthly activations, that kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I was also helping Adobe build their channel at the time. Um, I was like their lead moderator and kind of behind the scenes admin. Mm -hmm. uh, this was before the Adobe channel launched. Yeah. Uh, so landed Banana Peel, slipped into a job, and creative wasn't a thing yet. It still wasn't launched. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Bob Ross happened. That was our launch date. Was we're, we're broadcasting Bob Ross. We're launching Twitch Creative officially. We're changing that stupid question mark into a paintbrush, mm -hmm. which I, I still didn't like. Mm -hmm. But... We, we launched it then, and the team was four people. And since then, we've grown to 16 people on our team. Mm -hmm. We have uh, all of these different content initiatives. We, we ran the animation contest with you, mm -hmm. done a bunch of contests. Uh, right now, my job is to just make sure the community is fostered and loved. Mm -hmm. We've hired more community managers to help out with social media. That's awesome. But everything from like TwitchCon and PAXs and everything, that's that's where we're trying to really push creative out there and make sure yeah. it's supported. That's awesome. And we've been chatting while I've been here today about ways that we can work together to help animators on my YouTube channels who are interested in ways of, you know, growing their own communities and, and serving their own creation process to help supplement their content and and their own platforms yeah. and channels and stuff so there's hopefully there will be ways that we can work together in the future but yeah. tell me a little bit about twitch creatives vision for the future what's the hope what what do you guys want to get out i of think the future? the hope the dream and the direction that we're taking right now is really integrating creative with the rest of what twitch is is doing i think the big thing that we've seen is that creative has been this like special snowflake that kind of sits on the side and gets mm -hmm. a different kind of support mm -hmm. than the rest of the company. And we're trying to, or the rest of the content initiatives that we're focusing on, like speed running or mm -hmm. esports. Yeah. So we're trying to fold it into everything. Yeah. So everything we're doing, we're trying to think, how does this affect creative? How does, how can we support creative with this initiative or this product? That's great. So it's being, it's, it's shown to be a success and now it's, okay, how do we fold this in into everything yeah. that is Twitch? Yeah. And when you say it's been shown to be a success, as far as how, the community has grown and the content creators have come here um how how give me an idea about that growth because it started off when i started streaming on twitch before when there was a question mark there was maybe four or five people streaming yep. at a time whereas now you have like 20 or 30 in each subcategory of drawing painting cooking sculpting painting miniatures like these awesome categories Lego building, like blacksmithing, it, blacksmithing it's insane yeah. like and it's awesome because these people can build audiences where they didn't really have a platform to do yeah. so before so I mean, that's that's really the growth is that when i found twitch there were maybe five people in the directory the creative directory at any one time hmm. and now we have maybe 200 250 hmm. probably live right now yeah. And that's the growth that we've seen with people coming to the, the platform to broadcast. Mm -hmm. We've also seen the growth in that Twitch as a whole has kind of like accepted it. And 
brought in the viewership that you know a normal person who watches Overwatch, competitive Overwatch, mm -hmm. is now saying, oh, you know, I want to check out Lego speed building, or yeah. I want to check out someone making a knife um, in their backyard. Yeah. So it's kind of that's the success of like being integrated into the brand. Mm. It's funny we still see people who are like, I didn't know this was a thing on on Twitch. Yeah. And that's really what we're trying to go after and solve right now is yeah. this is a thing on Twitch. This is supported by everybody. Like yeah. we want to push it out there as as wide as we can. That's great. And and it's cool because I, I don't know many people who wouldn't be interested in, in a <laughs> an entertainment a well presented blacksmith art <laughs> or sculptor because at the end of the day, like humans have that creative side, yeah. whether they know that about themselves or not. Yeah. And and it's great for Twitch as a whole, I think too, because it helps you broaden your image from a let's play website yeah. to just this really cool place where people who make stuff yeah. go, which is really I think cool. that's also the, the key element where it's different, where if I'm painting something, I'm showing you the process. At the end of that process, you can buy my painting or I can yeah. sell a print of it. Yeah. That's where it's like the, the support that you can get from the community is, is completely different than yeah. if I make like a let's play video and then I post it on, you know, my, mm. my website or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think I think to kind of wrap it up, if it was like a little bit of a little nugget of helpful information to you guys, people who want to make a career out of art or even just start to have some supplementary income, Twitch is one of the best places to hustle because you're making stuff, you're spending your time making your portfolio, your animations, your cartoons, or your images, or yeah. your sculptures, yeah. um, and it, it doesn't take away from the effort you're putting into things, it mm -hmm. just turns that process into content that can become clients, become an audience, yeah. and become your brand. So, yeah, yeah check it out. <laughs> Not that you haven't already, but <laughs> this is just like extra love for Twitch because they're super cool. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for joining me, man. Yeah. And thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure and for hosting the stream. I'm bummed out. I didn't get much or any footage of our of our stream in the vlog, <laughs> but uh, you'll see it. It'll, it'll come together somehow. I don't know how I'm going to edit that. But. All right, so I recorded a signing out saying goodbye in yesterday's vlog, but I think my lav broke at that point where you just saw me leave, leave the interview with uh, with Moss. So this is me recording a goodbye for yesterday's vlog in the future as far as you watching today's vlog goes. So uh, a huge thank you to everyone at Twitch for having me there. It was so cool to, to meet some old friends and meet some new friends, to have a collab and a stream there at the office. It was so fun. Anyway, that's pretty much all I, was, I said when I signed out, but the difference is I'm re-recording it in the future. A little bit of a hint from the future as to what you can look forward to. Today I visited Google Tilt Brush headquarters here in San Francisco. Very exciting stuff. Spoiler alert, they're super awesome and I had a great time. So make sure to stay tuned tomorrow for today's vlog. I'm so confused. Time traveling is confusing. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.